This is Barry Belosis, one of the musculoskeletal radiology fellows at Stanford University. 16 year old with two years of right calf pain after calf injury. Concern for myositis ossificans. The patient in this case presented with this lateral radiograph of tibia and fibula showing dense calcification along the posterior calf. The CT demonstrates the calcification correlating to finding on radiograph, demonstrating this curvilinear calcification in the gastrocnemius muscle, as seen also on the sagittal imaging. The patient underwent bone scan, which demonstrates increased uptake in the right posterior calf. In bone scan, there is typically nonspecific increased bone scan uptake on flow and blood pool images in the early development of myositis ossificans and gradually decreases as the lesion matures. This is, however, not a routine imaging done for patients with myositis ossificans. This is in a different patient. Here on our left hip radiograph, we can see this peripherally calcified mass right here with lucent center, which is a typical finding of myositis ossificans on its later stages. This is an MRI with and without contrast of the same patient. MRI appearances of myositis ossificans change with the age of the lesion. So for instance, in this patient, we have the axial T1. We can see this heterogeneous mass in the anterior compartment of the proximal femur. Here, we can see that there is peripheral signal that is the same signal to the adjacent bone, and then this isointense component centrally, isointense to the surrounding muscle. On our axial T1 fat sat post contrast imaging, we can see that there is hypointense periphery of this lesion and some heterogeneous enhancing component centrally. The periphery has the same signal as our bone which is also seen here on our coronal T2 fat sat imaging, whereas the mature bone suppresses on our fat suppressed imaging. So this is a typical appearance of myositis ossificans on its later stages where it can mimic a bone. Its pattern is also typical as we can see here where the ossification starts from the periphery and it progresses centrally as it matures and becomes completely ossified.